This is what made Norway rich long before oil. Arctic cod or scray in their millions fill drying racks across the Lofoten Islands. Winter after winter, fishermen here have cashed in on the annual migration south from the Barents Sea. It is a tradition that goes back thousands of years. The cod is caught, it's gutted, and then it's hung out to dry for several months. And what you end up with is a dried fish that retains nearly 100% of its nutrition, a prized delicacy from Italy to Nigeria. This is what supplied the Vikings on their long voyages to far off lands and still now is a big part of the Norwegian economy worth millions of dollars. The fish comes from the Barents Sea and it goes to Lofoten to spawn. And that because of the Atlantic Stream. So the Atlantic Stream, it stops by Lofoten and brings food, it brings the higher temperature, even though it's not warm, but it's higher, yeah. <laughs> high enough to, to spawn. And it's a very um, delicate uh, ecosystem in Lofo. That fragility is spelt out by a ream of scientific research as a changing climate and warmer ocean temperatures upset the balance of the marine ecosystem, meaning the scray may be forced out and then it's a question of where they go. Obviously if keep things keep warming, some of those true polar species might end up not having a whole lot of places to go if they're being outcompeted by sort of these more southern species moving north that we can see, um, might see some considerable changes there. This year, Gerd Nielsen caught 13,000 kilos of cod. It's been a pretty good season, but he's worried about the future. Climate change could change everything. The, the cod can suddenly stop coming to Lofoten because it'd be warmer and going longer and longer north. So then we, we have a, a big problem. Every year as spring comes, the cod leave. Their return has always been a certainty and a necessity, not just for the fishermen, but for the seals, seabirds and whales that feed on them. Now this extraordinary feat of nature is under threat, and the outcome as ever depends on the political will to act in a time of global crisis. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Lofoten Islands, Norway.